Can you still edit comfortably on a PowerPC? And if you can, what is the best editor? Let's find out. Okay, so that video clip that you saw, the intro video, you know how like really zoomed out and crappy it looked? Yeah, that was taken with a five-year-old handy cam. I don't want you guys to think that I'm slacking on the job or anything, but I wanted to give my PowerBook a little bit of an advantage here by making the video a little bit lower quality. Anyway, we have three options for editing today. We have iMovie 09, Final Cut Pro 5, and Adobe After Effects CS3. So let's go ahead and we'll work three to one. We'll go After Effects first. Okay, so here we are in After Effects CS3, and as you can see, it's gray. It's very, very gray. But rather than looking for my video clip, I'm going to try the old drag and drop method. Assuming I can click on it. Okay, the, the clip actually loaded. That is a good start. Now let's see if we can drag and drop it into the editor. Good, good, okay. All right, two out of two. Now let's see if we can play it. Oh boy. That's real time, folks. As you can see, my, my mouth's moving and everything. Oh dear. <clears throat> so, I think we can actually make this better. Let's try it. Okay, so I downloaded a program called VidiUp. It converts stuff to MP4 for editing. So I'm going to drag and drop this and see if it'll make it better. Um, let's see, we've got MP4, H.264. Eh, let's do MP4. So this is what um, <clears throat> VidiUp gave me. I'm not even going to try it. Because it's so low quality. And if you can't, like, there are pixels everywhere. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm not, I'm not even going to try it. So, we'll just say that After Effects was a fail. Okay, now we're in the abnormally gray, again, Final Cut Pro. This time I am just going to click Import instead of trying to drag and drop because each one of these windows is individual. Uh, desktop. Okay. Well, it loaded. Good. Drag and drop it here. And let's see if it'll play. Oh, well, hang on. So far, so good. Okay. One or more frames was dropped during playback. You ain't kidding. One or more frames was dropped during playback. Um. Okay. You know, I'll I'll let it render for a second, and we'll see what'll happen. Okay, we have sequence one. Let's see what it looks like. That was not supposed to reopen. Okay, I had to hit open with QuickTime Player. The default to open it was Final Cut. Let's see how it looks. Can you still edit comfortably on PowerPC? And if you can... Looks just like I had recorded it. Let's find There's out. no frame drops, no nothing. Huh. I could actually live with that. 
I'm going to give Final Cut a pass. Um, you guys might give it a fail. That's up to you. Um, but I'm going to give it a pass. Let's move on to iMovie. Okay, so this is iMovie 09. Pretty standard stuff. Um, not as gray as the other ones. That's a bit of a shocker. Okay, so we've got untitledproject.move or .movie, whatever you want to call it. And guess what? iMovie doesn't recognize the .move extension at all. But to be fair, let's try to pop in sequence one. Nope. And we've already seen what file converters will do. So iMovie, unfortunately, is another fail. I feel like I'm not giving iMovie a real chance. So I'm going to redo iMovie. Um, with that being said, let me grab my wireless keyboard so I don't get any shot. Um, I downloaded a YouTube video of mine in MP4 because I know that it works with MP4. So let's just try that. Actually, it doesn't support drag and drop. Okay. Okay, so let's try the dot movie then. The dot movie. Okay, okay. All right, it's loading. We're getting somewhere. Okay. That's my bad, folks. I am so glad I went back and did this so that an internet troll didn't yell at me. It's loaded. Let's try to play it. Can you still edit comfortably on PowerPC? Wow. And if you can, what is the best editor? Okay, okay. Let's say that that title's not there. In fact, you know what? I'm, I'm going to clip. I'm going to clip the title. Well, no, I can't do that because of the music. Okay. Let's just add a title. Four. I'm just going to name it PPC for PowerPC. And we can, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can drag and drop it down here, maybe? Why is it not letting me do it? Hmm. Let me take a minute and play around with this. Okay, after about 10 minutes of digging, I finally found the export button. So I'm just going to hit export. I can call it my first project, that's fine. Oh, it has an HD button. Let's render it in high definition. 1980 by 720, which isn't really considered HD anymore, but you know what? It's better than... SD, so let's do it. I'm going to let it render because it says it's going to take about eight minutes to do. But so far, this really worked. Okay, so if you guys start like hearing rumbles on the video, it is thunder. It's storming at my house. I didn't even realize it. Um, but this finished. So let's play it. Whoa, full screen. Hey! Where's the sound? Huh. Oh, thunder. Maybe I should play it with VLC. <coughs> Let's try VLC Media Player. Because VLC will play anything.
Where's the sound? Not to mention the quality's horrible. Okay, um... I could have done something wrong, but I don't think I did. Um... So despite everything, I'm still gonna have to give iMovie a fail. So, I'm wrong again. Um, I'm not setting up my tripod again. I'm not setting up all the equipment. I actually have my uh, boom mic plugged up right here. Um, I'm just going to hold it. But, uh, turns out I couldn't render the video in high def because it wasn't high def to begin with. Who would have thought? But, when I rendered it in a lower quality... And if you can, what is the best editor? Let's find out. It worked. So, in conclusion to a very frustrating YouTube video, can you edit on a power PC? Yes. Yeah, you can still edit. Um, in fact, I may throw this video on there because that other clip's already on there and might as well see if I can do it, right? Um, if you can edit, what would you recommend? Um, well, I mean, you can try Final Cut Pro. I may try Final Cut Pro. Um, <clears throat> but I would go with iMovie 09. As long as you can learn how to use it, don't be like me. Don't just wing it. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I feel like this video is going to be very low quality because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was given iLife 09 and I've not used a movie at all and now I need it how funny is that so yeah I mean definitely pick up one of these power PCs and edit some footage have fun with it this is Adam take it easy